Yo what's up guys, in this video we will learn how to make these really cool looking line animations in After Effects with this small smoke effect and yeah, they are super simple and you can use them in many motion graphic projects so yeah I'd say let's go so let's go into our new composition and let's first of all create some line animations and then add the most important effect so let's just start by creating a new shape layer and yeah now we can just select the pen tool right here and just draw a line that we think yeah this path should follow something like this maybe and yeah now let's open this up right here and first of all open up the shape you can delete the fill because yeah we don't need a fill at all but yeah let's open up the smoke and change the whiteness to something like 20 maybe or maybe 40 even Oh, <laughs> not this, just 40, or let's go with, with 30, just like this, and yeah, let's animate this real quick by just going to add and let's apply a twin paths effect, and yeah, now we can just animate this, so let's bring the end back to zero at the beginning, and just put in a keyframe here, and then just go forward like 2 or 3 seconds, maybe 2 and a half, and just bring this to 100. So now we have this cool animation, yeah, but it just stops. So let's also animate the start. So let's just go a bit forward. So of course not right at the beginning, but a few frames forward somewhere in here and place a keyframe at start. And then also go a few frames backwards or forwards again behind the, the last keyframe and just bring this to 100 as well. So now we got this, yeah, this awesome animation. And yeah, depending how you place the start keyframes, yeah, um, the length varies. So if we put this even more forward, we get a longer line. If we put it backwards, it will be shorter. But yeah, let's just stick with this one. And yeah, this is super cool. Maybe let's, for more contrast, give it a gray color instead of white. Just like this. And... Yeah, now let's add the most important effect, which is the rough and edges effect, which is under stylize. And yeah, just select the shape layer and apply this effect. And now we can see this gets interesting. And yeah, first of all, I forgot a small thing. Let's also go to stroke in the shape settings and change the line cap to round cap. So you can see we get these rounded caps at the beginning and the end of the line and yeah this looks super cool already we can just play around with the settings a bit so maybe increase this a little bit so this will be stronger maybe even more something like 25 should look good if the edges get a bit blurry you can increase the edge sharpness right here so just until it looks yeah sharp again and yeah, this already looks really cool, but a bit static, so let's also animate the yeah the evolution of this thing. So let's go to the beginning and just put in a keyframe at evolution and go to the end and just put in something like one or two in here. And yeah, now this, this effect even moves a bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks really cool. We can of course make it stronger by yeah putting something like two or three in here. Let's try this real quick. And yeah, this looks really cool. Of course, you can also play around with the other settings like increasing or decreasing the complexity. So as you can see, if we increase it, we get yeah, more, more details. And this also looks really cool. Or if you decrease it to one, it's really smooth. But yeah, that's up to you. And of course, you can just duplicate these and select the pen tool and change the paths a bit. Um, yeah, this is completely up to you. You can just make a few of these lines. Um, okay, let's just fit this again. And yeah, that's already it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.